when you create anything in Sibelius, whether it's a piece of text or a time signature or a key signature or a clef or a note or anything at all, it's technically called an object. Now in Sibelius, there are two types of objects. There are staff objects and there are system objects. And it's a good idea to be aware of the differences between the two. There is one main difference between the two. To demonstrate it best, I'm going to use the hidden create menu. If you haven't seen the video for the create menu, I would go and have a look at it just now. But in principle, if I right click on a blank part of the page, it brings up this menu here, which is called the create menu. If I go to the text option down there, oops, I'm going to have a look at these options here. Now, at the top here it says expression text, basically dynamics. Technique text, um, that's things like pizzicato, um, muted, soupon, stuff like this, to do with the techniques of actually playing the instrument that we're talking about. Lyrics, obviously lyrics, so these are the words that people would sing. And other staff text, and these are things which affect the individual instruments. So if I, put anything, if I put some small text on an instrument, for example, it would only appear on that particular staff or stave. Kind of a difficult to see, but there's a light grey dividing line there. And underneath this, you have title, subtitle, composer, lyricist, dedication. These are all things which obviously affect everybody in the score. You're all playing the same piece at the same time, hopefully. But you also have tempo and metronome mark. And again, these would affect everyone in the score because you would hope you would hope that everybody would be playing the piece at the same speed. So you've got staff text and system text. Let me show you an example. Um, I have here a piece for multiple instruments, obviously, and there's two trombones playing, or two bass trombones playing at the start of the piece. If I, for example, on the bass trombone one, add a dynamic, like so, I can then go to the bass trombone one part, and that dynamic has appeared. If, however, I go to the bass trombone two part, that dynamic isn't there, because I only added the dynamic to that particular instrument, and because it's staff text, it only affects that instrument. If, however, I go up to the top here, and I go to my text, and I create a tempo mark, like so, I could right click on there and select Allegro and let's put a wee metronome mark in there as well. Now that's obviously on the first trombone part. So let's look at the first trombone part. There it's there. It's appeared. But it's also appeared now on the bass trombone part, which wasn't there before. And the second trombone, second bass trombone. It's also appeared on the egg shaker part. It's also appeared on every part in the piece because it's system text and it affects everything in the score. And that's a big difference and it's, a, it's important to be aware of the difference between the two. My way of thinking is to think staff text from left to right, that affects the individual player. System text, top to bottom, affects the entire score. 